Hey everyone, this is Nancy, and this video is a little bit different from our usual videos. We had a bad experience during a recent holiday, and we want to teach you what we had to learn the hard way so it doesn't happen to you on your next vacation. In today's video, we're going to discuss an essential topic that every traveler should know about. How to ensure your resort room is free from bed bugs. Nothing can ruin a vacation faster than encountering these unwanted pests, and they can be found at even the best five-star resorts. They seem to be on the rise because our group has been traveling to resorts for well over 15 years, and we have never had an issue until this year. And surprisingly, now that we're asking about them, we are hearing more people's stories about recent bed bug findings. We thought we knew how to check for bed bugs, but we had to learn everything that we didn't know the hard way when two members of our team shared a room that was infested with bed bugs and we didn't know it until it was way too late. It was a very bad experience, so in typical new Travel Escapes fashion, we want to pay it forward to you and teach you everything that we had to learn so that you don't ever have to go through it. Let's dive into our step-by-step -step process to help you have a bed bug free experience along with tips on identifying what these bites look like. I want to start off the video by explaining that this happened at a very highly rated five star adults only all-inclusive resort in the Riviera Maya area of Mexico. We are not going to mention the resort by name because although I am disappointed in their response or lack thereof, I am not so foolish as to assume that bed bugs are isolated to one resort. This can happen at any resort. The video footage you are seeing is of many different resorts and rooms taken during our 40 plus trips. Bed bugs don't have wings, so they rely on animals or humans to carry them from one place to another. They typically move around by hitching a ride in or on your luggage or clothing. They can also travel from one room to the next if the hotel has an infestation. That being said, with the huge amount of luggage moving around any given resort each day, it's easy to see how bed bugs can get in and make your room their home. We did check the mattresses for bed bugs when we arrived. We almost always do, and we didn't find any, but clearly we did not check diligently enough because the little blood suckers got us anyway. First, we're going to show you what bed bug bites look like and explain why it was so difficult for us to figure out what was going on. Again, I want to emphasize that we are showing you footage from a variety of resorts while we tell you about our experience. Our group checked into a very nice and very clean five-star resort for a week-long stay. The first thing we did was check for bed bugs the way that we normally do. This one was a room with two double beds to be shared by two adult siblings. We pulled up the corners of the sheets and checked the mattresses. They were clean and new. Sheets were also clean and there were no marks or any sign of anything. So we assumed all is good as it had been in the past and we carried on with our vacation. Two mornings later into our vacation, team member Raven woke up with several bud bugs on her arms that we assumed were mosquitoes. And it was no big deal, she carried on about her day. After all, the resort is in the jungle and has a huge beach, so it could really be just about anything. About three days into our trip, Raven kept getting more and more bites. She is diligent about insect repellent and doesn't leave the room in the evenings without it. But this didn't seem to be working on this trip. Very slowly and over several days, she just kept getting more and more bites and we were baffled. We did check for bed bugs again and we requested that the sheets be changed daily rather than reuse them thinking that maybe this might help. One evening, we were sitting inside in a lounge having a cocktail before dinner and Raven pointed to her hand and said, what is happening? I have five new bites on my finger and we're inside in the air conditioning with no bugs. How can this be? Here is where we did not have enough knowledge to figure this problem out quickly and solve it. We did not know that according to the Center for Disease Control, bed bug bites can take up to 14 days to actually show up on your skin. So when you get bit and when you react are not in sync. It is very difficult to figure out the timing of bed bug bites because they show up days later. If you start getting bites showing up three or four days into a trip, the chances are you were bitten when you arrived. The bites that kept showing up on Raven's skin were bites from days prior. 
Toward the end of the week, she had at least a hundred bites showing up on all over her body, and we couldn't figure out what was happening. We asked the staff if they knew what was going on, and they said it must be mosquitoes or something. One staff member was even so kind as to go and get Raven a tube of cream from the pharmacy near her home to help with the itch. We purchased Benadryl from the hotel shop, but nothing really worked. Another reason we didn't assume bed bugs was that Raven's brother Jordan, who was sharing the room, didn't really have any bites at all. If they were in one bed, they must be in the other bed, right? If it was something in the room, he would have had bites too, right? Nope. Raven's bites were in clusters, and they were also running in lines up and down her arms, along her back, as well as up her neck. This became too much for her to handle, so she stopped going out in the evenings with us, assuming that it was something outside that was biting her. Jordan felt terrible for his sister and was getting frustrated not knowing what was going on. So on day six, he woke up in the middle of the night to quickly turn on his phone flashlight and check the bed while he had been sleeping for a while. He found them. What we couldn't see when the bed was cold, they could clearly see when the beds were warm. Then they did a deeper dive in the middle of the night in their room and it turned out that the bed bugs were in the box spring fabric covers. It took us the better part of a week but we finally had answers as to what was biting Raven. It turned out that they were biting Jordan too, but his bites didn't show up on his body until several days after we got home. We got those two out of their room, but our vacation was already over, so a visit to the doctor and some prescription oral and topical medications at least gave her a bit of relief for the plane ride home. But those bites were nasty, very itchy, and she was miserably uncomfortable. We took videos and the pictures and even took some dead bed bugs up to the resort manager to make sure that they knew they had a problem and that no one else would be put into that room until it was bug free. Because it took so long for us to figure out what the problem was, we have zero experience with what we're looking at here. The resort really didn't do much. They may have if we found them earlier, and I'm being gracious to them because we've given them several weeks to respond to our emails and phone calls and at the time of this video, they are completely ignoring us. I want to be clear, I wasn't asking them for anything, but I wanted them to tell me what procedures they took to solve the problem so that I could tell you guys and you can be assured that the infestation has been dealt with. But alas, crickets. The bugs were really hard for us to discover due to our total inexperience with them. And if Jordan hadn't thought to check during the middle of the night, I'm not sure we would have ever figured out what was going on. I'm surprised that housekeeping didn't figure it out, but I'm not a housekeeper and I have no idea how they're trained. The bites that Raven had at about day five were huge, swollen, and extremely itchy. She had severe headaches and generally overall felt like garbage. We paid the criminal prices at the resort shop for Benadryl, $40 USD for a box of 10 tablets, and they really didn't help much at all. We found the bugs on day six and we went home on day seven. So maybe you know all about bed bugs and have experience with identifying them, but we sure didn't. We had to learn what the bites look like and how to check the room properly because we clearly didn't do that well. So now you know about what the bites are like, here is how to inspect your room properly. Step one, inspect the luggage rack. Upon entering the room, leave your luggage in the entryway and start by inspecting the luggage rack. Bed bugs can easily hitch a ride on your suitcase, so it's important to check this common hiding spot first. Look for any signs of bed bug activity, such as small black dots or reddish stains. Knowing that bed bugs like to ride on suitcases, it's easy to see how they infest a room quickly. Most people throw their luggage up on the bed and start to unpack as soon as they get into a room, and whatever their suitcase is transporting is now in your bed. Step two, which we knew about, is inspect or examine your bed. The bed is the primary target for bed bugs. If you do nothing else, at least inspect the mattress. Begin by pulling back all of the sheets and inspect the mattress seams, corners, and edges. Look for any live bugs, shed exoskeletons, or dark stains that could indicate their presence. Dead bed bugs tend to leave reddish brown stains when they're squashed on a mattress or a section of bedding. Also, look for tiny white eggs or light yellow casings, which are other prominent signs of bed bug activity. Living bed bugs are small and brown, and some can be as small as a pinhead. 
bed bugs are attracted to body heat and carbon dioxide, so this makes them difficult to see just crawling around if the bed is cool and it's not being used. Remember our story? After you're in bed and your body heat warms up the bed, then they come out. It's more likely you will be able to see stains from where they have been or even the bugs sleeping in the cracks on the mattress. Even if it seems tedious, it's better in the long run if you examine all four corners of the mattress, look carefully at the seams of the mattress as this is a popular hiding place for bed bugs, and to get a closer look beneath these seams, lift them up with the thin edge of a credit card or your room key and use your phone's flashlight. Also search under the mattress with a flashlight. Prop up the mattress with one arm or ask a friend or family member to help you. Turn on your phone's flashlight and search along the bottom of the mattress. Inspect beneath the mattress for any significant stains or splotches, as well as any eggs or casings. Even if the top of the mattress looks okay, the bottom of the mattress might be hiding some signs of bed bugs. Step three is to inspect the headboard. Bed bugs often seek refuge in or behind the headboard, particularly upholstered headboards. Take a closer look at the seams and crevices and pay attention to any signs of bed bug activity. Shine your flashlight behind the headboard and if you spot anything suspicious, notify the hotel staff immediately and request a room change. Step four is check the nightstands. Bed bugs can also hide in the drawers and crevices of nightstands and also behind the nightstands. Open each drawer and thoroughly examine them, ensuring that there are no signs of infestation. Remember to inspect both the interior and exterior of the nightstands. Step five is assess the upholstered furniture. If your room has upholstered furniture, it's important to give them a thorough inspection. Look for any signs of bed bugs, such as live bugs, eggs, or black stains. Pay close attention to the seams, tufts, and undersides of cushions. These things really like to hide in tiny little cracks, so don't forget about them. Lastly, don't forget the curtains. Bed bugs are known to hide in the folds of curtains or drapes. Take a moment to inspect them by pulling them aside and checking for any signs of infestation. Pay attention to the hemlines, the pleats, and the seams. Focus especially on any upholstered seams throughout the room, as this is a popular hangout for most bed bugs. And after all you've done all of this, you should be able to sleep easy. Pun totally intended. Remember, early detection is key when it comes to bed bugs, and this is where we messed up. We didn't remove the box spring covers and inspect the box springs as the mattresses were new and the sheets were clean and white and the box spring covers were clean. We should have inspected further and got down on the ground to check the box springs with a flashlight. The stains were old, so they must have had this problem for a while. The resort brought in a pest control squad and they sprayed down all of our luggage inside and out with some pretty serious insecticide and we took it all directly to the laundromat and washed and dried everything on high heat twice before anything ever came back into our house. Raven is on the mend, but we'll have some scars to remind her of this experience. We have not managed to get anyone at the resort to contact us about this situation after we left. We hope that they've sorted out the situation and that they made sure that they got rid of the bugs. I would hate to see anyone else go into that room or any other room close by until they were clear. I know bed bugs can happen anywhere. They are certainly less common at five-star resorts than their less expensive counterparts, but it can still happen at any resort. So I hope you found this helpful and that you learned a little something. I'm specifically not mentioning the resort by name because although I'm very frustrated with their lack of communication, I'm well aware that it can happen anywhere. Our overall experience with the resort was a good one if you take this situation out of the equation. Although, I don't think I'll ever be able to get Raven back there. I would not want anyone to ever go through this on their vacation, so if this video helps just one person to avoid bed bugs, then it was absolutely worth making. Your comfort and peace of mind are essential during your travels, and we hope that this guide has helped you ensure a bed bug free experience. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to New Travel Escapes for more unbiased travel reviews and videos. Until next time, happy and bug free travels. Bye!